Hey there. Every single student can be successful in upper level high school math courses. I'm uh, talking like beyond Algebra 1. Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, keep on going. Every single student regardless. You can't tell me, but my student struggles with this, but this is my kind of child. I've seen them all and they all experience what I call the success curve. And I want you to be familiar with that so that you can be encouraged and know that hands down, your child can be successful in upper level math and can make it through all these high school math courses. And while curriculum and teaching help big time, that can kind of change how quickly this curve takes off. The two things I want to talk about are th two things that every student experiences, regardless of what curriculum they're in, regardless of what kind of teaching they have. These are the things that can make a student take off and be successful. Okay, the two things are on the board right behind me, maturity and familiarity. This happens to all students. And I'm talking about in the context of math courses. So maturity means they just age. As a student ages a year, two years in high school, their ability to, um, to comprehend abstract concepts of math it just improves. It just flat out improves with age. For some student, it, students, it improves quicker than others, but it improves for everybody, okay? And then familiarity is this concept of when a student begins Algebra 1, things are brand new. So there are these brand new abstract concepts, and the brain just doesn't have anything to grasp onto with that. So if you can stick with it and, and get those concepts it might take a little while but when those concepts start getting into the brain then when they're in their later courses geometry algebra 2 they have a familiarity they're able to they, they recognize some of those things that they struggled with before and suddenly they're easier and they become easier and then easier and this happens to all students as they progress through their high school math courses so let's take a look at what i call the success curve this is an exponential curve by, by exponential, I mean it grows slowly and then it just starts increasing faster, 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 and then it really takes off. And this is what I see happen in every math student that I deal with. Not every curve looks exactly the same, but every student uh, experiences this. They begin in Algebra 1 and the growth can seem very slow. Sometimes it seems like it's not growing at all and it can be painful and challenging trying to get through Algebra 1, but there is growth maturing and familiarity are happening it just don't don't be so caught up on well it's got to happen faster okay it it is happening but a lot of students and parents get really bogged down in this algebra one stage and part of you know the the way that i handle that is is i try to just help students let's just let's let's keep progressing let's keep going let's get through it and if you can have a curriculum that's well spaced, well taught, doesn't cram too much stuff in there, then the brain is able to start wrestling with these concepts. And once you make it out of algebra one and you're into geometry, then you're getting to revisit some of these algebra concepts again as they're applied to shapes and some, some new stuff in geometry, but they're also getting to revisit algebra one. Then there's some familiarity there. Their year students are a year older they're familiar with some of the algebra concepts, so it's easier and it starts building on itself. And then a couple of years after Algebra 1, when you're in Algebra 2, and I do recommend putting geometry in between Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 for this reason, by the time they get to Algebra 2, which is arguably a, a much more difficult course than geometry, then two years of maturity has set in since they started Algebra 1, and a lot of familiarity you, you're familiar with most of the concepts. Um, there are some brand new concepts in algebra, but they relate to the concepts in algebra one. So there's a lot of familiarity and students just find that they, they really take off. I was helping one of my algebra two students the other day with a pretty challenging problem. And she was not completely confused on it, just couldn't quite put it together. And we worked through some of the you know details of it. And I said, well, you've got to, you know, oh yeah, you already did that, you did that. Oh, you just need to, put this over here and, and combine this together or whatever. And we got through the problem. And then later I was thinking about that student and she was very competent in her algebra too as we were working through that problem. And when, and when I first started working with her back in algebra one, 
you know, two years earlier, she was an absolute math hater. Math was a mess, math anxiety. She didn't think she could do math at all. And there wasn't anything magic that happened between here and here. It was just some maturity set in, her ability to understand it, and then familiarity. She spent a couple of years wrestling through this stuff. And then by the time she got to Algebra 2, she had these things in place that really helped her and she's really taking off there. So those are two things that every student experiences. And I just want you to be encouraged that your child will too. Don't get bogged down too much in this Algebra 1. Just understand the concept that there is a success curve and it happens for every single student regardless of who they are. Okay, thank you for joining me. I hope this encouraged you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.